Oh. Oh, mama. <clears throat> this is pretty special. This is a pretty special <clears throat> opportunity that we're going to bring you now. Okay. I've got three kits in this hour. I've got the most exquisite um, nativity kit for you. I've got a beautiful star gemstone kit. And finally, I've got Mark's amazing Delica kit. We're going to start off with the uh, nativity opportunity right now, though. Now... This is really quite mind-bogglingly amazing. I spotted this just the other day when I was sitting in, um, in Chloe Jones, our head of production, in her, in her office. I was blown away by the quality of these pieces. I mean, absolutely blown away. The intricacy of what you're getting is amazing. We've collaborated with guest designer and all-round amazing seed beader, uh, Katie Dean. Here she is. She's not only um, a guest designer here on Jewelry Maker, but she's a, quite a big name, really, in the, in the seed bead and the jewelry making industry, isn't she, Mark? She's, uh, she's, a, she's very, very good at what she does. She runs her own magazine. She's the editor of a magazine as well, which is available for How amazing for is shops. that? Uh, yeah. Royalty, as you said. Yeah. Beading royalty. Beading yeah. royalty. This has been a very, very, very big project. Um, I mean, we, we don't normally do projects like this. It's been wonderful. And I think moving forward, we're going to have to do more of these. The nativity you've got here is exquisite let me pick up let me pick up one of the kings let's look at these this is what look at these oh my word look at the detail the layers look at his little beard and his little nose they are gorgeous they are like little um they're like little puppets they're absolutely gorgeous Let's pick up another one. They're stunning. Let's pick up Mary. Here she is. She doesn't look like she's just had a baby. I have to say, she looks amazing. <laughs> there she is. Beautiful Mary with her beautiful blue and white dress. There's her hair. Detail. See her little hands? Oh, isn't she gorgeous? Look at this with the beautiful little headdress on. Um, Where's Joseph? Where are you, mate? Here you are. Here he is. Oh, no, it's a shepherd. Sorry. Holding, holding the crook. There's the shepherd. Oh, look. Look at the little hands. Oh, my word. You are at... There's, there's Joseph. Here he is, hiding. Lurking. Lurking at the back. Oh, no. Or is it another king? Oh, no, it's another king. Sorry. <laughs> that... Mark, these are just beautiful. They're, they're exquisitely made, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. They're exquisite. Let's have a look at another one. What I love is the fact that if you didn't know that this was a nativity set, you would know it was a nativity set. If it oh. wasn't in its original setting, you would know straight away. Yeah. Two more, they've been made. two more kings. There they are. His white beard, look. <laughs> Little crowns. Look at the crowns, Mark. Holding their oh. gifts. For the baby Jesus. They're beautiful. Oh my word. Two more shepherds with their um with their with their shepherd's crooks. Oh they are stunning. <laughs> and then finally, this absolutely gorgeous crib with the baby in. Just adorable. <laughs> now, 
This really takes me back to when I was a child because my, my mum um, had, uh, my mum and dad um, had a nativity scene just like this here. I used to call it the shed, um, <laughs> but um, they used to have a nativity scene like this. And I, as a child, used to spend hours rearranging the figurines and re putting them in different places and having the crib kind of on the side, having it in the center, having the kings inside the, um, inside the stall and then having the kings kind of outside the stall um, with the long procession on their, on their weary journey, kind of having them, having them walking towards the stable, you know, and having them outside the, um, uh, the scene as it were. I used to spend hours and hours and hours kind of re redoing, um, redoing the scene and I used to absolutely love it. I, I, I guess what I was looking at it as is a bit of a, um, a bit of a doll's house really for me mm. when mm. I was younger. And all the way through December, me and my sister would kind of, would move the little figurines around. These are so beautiful. And yes, this is a nativity scene, but really, Mark, I think this can be translated into doll's house figurines absolutely. as no, no, well. No, 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 you're absolutely right. And a few weeks ago, um, guest designer Alison launched her Flower Fairy DVD. Beautiful. So you can incorporate the two techniques into both of those. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. You've got something <laughs> so beautiful here. And what I was talking about at the beginning of the show today is for, is for me, and I think for many people, Christmas is about building traditions, whatever those traditions may be. Maybe every, um, maybe every Christmas morning you, I don't know, you open presents in your pyjamas and whilst you're eating a bacon sandwich, you know, whatever it may be. Or maybe every, every Christmas Eve you go to a, a carol concert or, or you go to midnight mass, you know, whatever it may be. And... It's all about building those traditions. This is going to give you the opportunity to build yet another tradition. Now, whether that's going to be you making this as a gift, whether that's going to be you making this alongside your grandkids or alongside your kids, whatever it may be, this is all about building those traditions. And, I, and there is nothing, there is hardly any bigger joy in my life than every Christmas getting those decorations back down from the loft and thinking, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I love this decoration and the smell of them, the smell mm. of that gorgeous Christmassy smell. It's wonderful. And you're going to have that when you, when you make these. Being able to make your own stall as well, um, either whether whether you're um, are going to be making one of these and kind of covered, uh, covering it in moss, or whether it's just going to be a cardboard box, whatever it may be. And in actual fact, you don't actually need to have the stable around it. Just having the figurines, and you instantly know no, what it is, away. don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely, no, straight away. As you said, straight you away. instantly know what these figurines mean, even if they were just on a white table or or on a windowsill. You can build your own scene without having this rather beautiful stable. Now, um. We're doing something quite unusual today. All of the seed beads which you will need to make these figurines are here. There's 15 tubes of seed beads, okay? 15 tubes. You are gonna be getting, excuse me, so many different colors, so many different qualities, and we'll come to those in a second. You're also going to be seeing some short demos um, to make some of these, um, to make um, some of these uh, figurines. You're gonna be seeing short demos um, on Facebook. In fact, we're going to play you a really short clip about how you can watch these demos and to show you the web address to go to to see these demos. But don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a couple of seconds. Apologies for there not being any sound on that particular clip, but it gives you the web address to go to. So it's going to be on the Jewelry Maker Facebook page, some of the demos uh, to help you make these. But with this kit, you're getting this. Now, this is invaluable. This is invaluable. Because it's all very well us showing you all these pieces and saying, oh, isn't Katie Dean amazing for making all these pieces? And isn't that amazing? You know, it's wonderful. Uh, but you need to really see how these are made. You can't just kind of guess. Um, look at how simple these instructions are. So the first section is how to make Mary and Joseph, and it goes through uh, how to make Mary, how to make Joseph. Those are, your, those are your kind of techniques there. You're also going to be getting really clear diagrams as well. 
This is so useful, Mark, because I think this is how a lot of people learn how to do sea beading. It's from diagrams like this, isn't it? Absolutely. That's how I learn. That's definitely how I learn. And they're, 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 because they're all colour coded as well. Yeah. They're not black and white pictures, which I think is a massive, massive help. To have massive, massive bonus, definitely. Like no, it's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it goes through the different characters, so the crib. And also it gives you also skill, skill levels. So you've got intermediate skill levels here as well, which is really nice. Gives you more of a, an idea about, you know, how easy these are going to be to make. They're onto your three kings. Now, I love the photographs in this booklet, by the way. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. Really, really lovely. Um, look, 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 look at these diagrams. This is how to make the hat uh, uh, for one of the kings. That's really, really fantastic. Love all these um, little um, uh, um, um, uh, illustrations you've got in here. Absolutely amazing. How to make the hair, that, that skill set easy, uh, a sk a skill set level uh, easy. Absolutely fantastic. And don't forget, these are going to be so useful, not just for making this nativity scene, but for making figurines moving mm. forward. So whether you're mm. going to be making mermaids or whether you're going to be making Easter characters or whether you're going to be making doll's house figurines. So easy. Um, here we go. Jonathan in Yorkshire. Katie's patterns are so clear and you can be sure of good results. Love uh, the little people. Thanks, Jay, for bringing Katie's work to us. We need more of it. Do you know what, Jonathan? Get absolutely right as I'm sure you can imagine Katie's very very um, very very busy with um, being in the editor of her own magazine so uh, but yeah we're really really lucky to have these gorgeous brilliant and it brings you the bodies of all the characters as well now we're going to bring you the 60 second clock when the 60 second clock finishes the graphics are going to be live and the graphics are for the 15 tubes of seed beads and the booklet as well your minute starts now we've never done anything like this before Mark have we no it's a fantastic <clears> idea I can see lots of ideas for pirate ships, or the pirates and things, or under the sea world, or Wonderful. the jungle with animals and all sorts of things. That's a lovely yeah. idea. Mm. That's a really lovely yes. idea, actually. Yeah. Or a farm, because children love farmyards when they're children. <coughs> oh my word, they train really do. Set, train Zoos. set characters and Oh, yes! And, and all sorts of things. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. My little girls are being, uh, for Christmas this year, are going to be given Sylvanium families, which I used oh, to yes. love playing with when I yeah. was little. And, uh, and um, all the little kind of things that go in the, the houses mm. and the shops and the schools and all that kind of thing for um, Sylvanium families. You know, these sea beads are really going to work yes, beautifully. And, yes. of course, with these, with these demos, uh, sorry, uh, with this booklet, it's really going to work. Um, graphics are going to be live in 10 seconds, okay? Once the graphics are live, anybody can get this. 15 tubes of seed beads. I'll go through the colours in just a couple of seconds. And the booklet, this 31-page booklet. Absolutely amazing. Graphics are live. Go, 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 go. Now, okay, right. <laughs> so, in addition to your 31-page booklet... In addition to your 31-page booklet, which is, I mean, it's absolutely amazing what you get in here. The demos are so clear. It's in colour, as Mark says, which is brilliant, because especially when you're trying to work out what CB goes where, it's really, really useful that it's all been colour-coded in this booklet. As, in addition to your 31-page booklet, you're getting just a couple of tubes of seed beads. I was just looking at this set of seed beads, you know, and the, and the size of the figures. And I think you could probably get six or seven sets out of these beads. Well, I Not was going to say, <laughs> you're oh no, one of the kings has fallen over. Stand up, mate. There we go. Um, I was going to say, yeah. I was going to say, you are definitely going to be able to get more than one set of these figurines out of all these seed beads. I mean, Masses. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least five, I think. Looking at the cloaks, I mean, using the, the, the sort of the chocolatey brown and the black. Yeah. That's going to be, I don't know, a tenth of a tube. Wow. I... Gosh. Ah. Oh. Producer Danny's had a look, and almost half the tubes of seed beads you are seeing here are brand new. Here we go. Let's start off. Mayuki Delica Magenta Pale, Magenta Lined Pale Blue Seed Beads. That's these. These are 11 O's. They're beautiful. A third of the stock's already been gone. Already been gone? Already gone. So they're magenta lines, so they're kind of pink lined, sky blue, okay? Next, opaque royal blue. Opaque royal blue luster seed beads, 11 O's. That is a gorgeous colour. Galvanised gold, 11 O's. Here they are. Beautiful. 
galvanized gold, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, galvanized light beige seed beads. They look like, they're described as beige, they're really not beige, they're like a rose gold color, okay? They're beautiful, I love them. Look, look, look at them alongside the gold, they look amazing, don't they? Okay, matte silver lined aqua. That's these. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. I think they're 11 O's, okay? Ah, okay. Then you're going to be getting matte transparent red. That's these, definitely. 11 O's. Opaque brown, that's those. Opaque matte black, that's those. Opaque orange, I love these, these. Opaque white, there they are. Pale pink salon, that's those. So it's, sort of, it's, it's like a pearlescent finish on these. Trans uh, these ones are definitely new, by the way. Transparent green, there they are. And then you're getting some which I haven't even got details on. These ones. No, I've done transparent green. You're getting these ones which are silver lined in like a burgundy colour. These are galvanised as well. I mean, Mark, these, I mean, it's just, it's bonkers what you're getting here, isn't it? It's a brilliant. It's a really nice colour palette, actually. There, there, none of them are, are sort of, none of them are neons that you won't have any use for. You've got black in there, you've got white, you've got pinks, green, reds, all the colours of the palette in there. They're I mean, do, do, do you look at this, Mark, and think, oh, this is a great opportunity for me to make these beautiful figurines? Or do you look at this and think this is a really great stash builder kit with the opportunity of of uh, of you know learning some really valuable techniques with with regards to making figurines no both as a stash builder it's fantastic but have a piece of, of, of katie dean's work as well oh yeah exactly to put in in your bookcase with along with, with your books for future i think it's, it's fantastic i think you're absolutely right yeah. because i think if you think in, reg in in respect of you know there's a there's a particular supermarket and they've got a um, a chef who they use uh, it's, it's the Heston is mm. the Heston range and the Heston range you always want to get the Heston range if you can afford it because the Heston range always gives you those really extra few <laughs> fine details um, you always want to get oh I don't know the Mary Berry shortbread biscuits because you know that they've been made to a recipe that she's mm. developed and you know that they're going to taste even better than your normal shortbread That's biscuits right. and with regards to seed beading it's a little bit like that with Katie Dean because she's so good at what she does because she's been doing it for so long because she's an absolute you know she's a royalty with regards to seed beading and um, being able to being able to utilize demos um, <clears throat> that she's put together specifically for jewelry maker um, you know you've you've absolutely got something here which is you know it is a nod to um, you know some of the finest seed beading that there is out there and you are going to have so many of these seed beads left over I think pretty much half of the seed beads you're getting as part of this um, kit today, uh, almost half of these are brand new um, uh, tubes that we've never seen before. Now, we've got, uh, this is a brand new kit, okay. You are getting 15 tubes of seed beads. You're getting a 31-page booklet with colour instructions in here and colour demos in here. And you're also going to be, and you're also going to be getting... Um, uh, access obviously to our online uh, demos on our on our jewelry maker Facebook page as well it's amazing okay by 1230 all of our demo all, all of the demos will be up on our Facebook page our web price is 73 pounds 20 now mark I'm trying to think how much would I pay for a weekend workshop learning how to make these mm. with all these seed beads. It would be more than £73. It pounds would be 20. more than £73. <laughs> pounds. Taught by Katie Dean, mm. with these instructions, with the 15 tubes of seed beads, how much would you pay for a weekend's workshop? I'd probably pay triple that. Mm. I'd probably be happy to pay, you know, double, you know, triple that. In actual fact, today, in actual fact, today, your price for all of this. Enjoy. 34 in baskets, over half the quantity is gone. £59.95. Wow. That's £4.50 a tube. 
and the free booklet and all Katie's experience and time and there's a masses of work in that booklet. Yeah. It's incredible. Huge. It's a 31 page booklet. That is brilliant. That is incredible. Well done. So many people coming through to get this. Well done. You need to check your baskets out. Oh my word, you've got absolutely bananas over this. You're doing brilliantly. Well done. It works out to £3.99 per tube of seed beads and the booklet is free. So it's like £3.99 per pack of, uh, sorry, per tube of seed beads and the knowledge, the knowledge is free. Knowledge is power and people will pay a lot of money for knowledge and for tuition, but it's like three ninety nine per tube of seed beads, which is a brilliant price already because most of our tubes of seed beads are around about £5 each. Three ninety nine per tube of seed beads and all of this knowledge, 31 pages of knowledge and the online demos, which will be live, um, sorry, which will be up on our Facebook page uh, by uh, 12.30. We're going to try and put them on our YouTube channel as well. All of that is free. <clears throat> I think that's amazing. I think that's absolutely amazing, Mark. I've got 33 of these sitting in baskets. You need to check out as quickly as you can, because if you don't, somebody else will. But I think you're right, Mark. I think all of these colours, all of these sea beads go so beautifully mm. together. There's none that kind of stand out as no, being no, a no. bit oof, square peg in a round hole. You no, know, no, they no. all go together beautifully, no. don't they? You've got the whole colour range. Like I said, you've got, you've got blues, black, white, red, <clears> green, <throat> you've got metallics, you've got everything in there. Yeah, you're Fantastic absolutely bundle. right. You're absolutely right, Mark. Now, just to let you know, we've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of people still coming through to get this. Okay, but we do have, let me show you this quickly. Let me show you this really quickly. Where is it? Because you will need this. Sorry, it's not me just, it's not me. Hang on. So inside the booklet, I'm just trying to find the exact place where it is. Inside the booklet, here we go. If I show you a picture of this, that'll do. That'll do, because I can't find the actual picture. Okay, so inside the booklet, you will see this photo. And you've got sea beads surrounding a bead in the center. These beads are for making the heads of the characters. If you don't use these beads, then you'll have a rather squashed, deflated looking face. Now, it's up to you what kind of, um, what kind of bead that you use. You could use beads that you've already got, or... <laughs> Or you can use the beads that I've got here because they are the exact same as these beads here. They're absolutely wonderful. They've got this lovely kind of um, neutral kind of beige tone to them, which means that you won't really see them through the netting of the, um, of the, uh, of the seed beaded work. Okay, you're going to be getting... Here we go. They're porcelain ceramic rounds that you're going to be getting here. They're brand new. We've never done anything like this before. I think really, though, in a lot of seed bead figurine work, these are these are... Um, these are everyday, everyday kind of beads, aren't they? They're, they're used all the time in kind of in, um, in seed bead figurine work. You're going to be getting uh, 25 of these beads, so enough to make 25 different characters. Or if you're going to be using maybe two or three of these in a in a project, if you want to make a I don't know a gorgeous um, sea bead snowman, then you might find that you use more. Um, <clears throat> you're then going to be getting fire line threading material. Now you've got three loads of fire line threading material. You're going to be getting four pound six pound and eight pound fire line that is basically um that is basically indicative of how strong these fire lines are so the four pound one you'll use for maybe a looser weave and your eight pound one you'll use for a tighter weave uh, which is under more tension amazing price point on this an absolute necessity if you you know you've come through to get this gorgeous kit uh, and then an absolute necessity well done but 25 of your mocha colored uh, porcelain beads um with uh, um, uh, to be able to make your heads and then you're also going to be getting your fire line as well amazing um brilliant i can't wait to see your i can't wait to see your demos i can't wait to see your pieces i can't wait to see your figurines and like i've already said it doesn't necessarily need to be <laughs> i'm hooked on my chair oh there we go it doesn't necessarily need to be um, um oh my goodness me what's wrong with them so i'm hooked on my chair sorry it doesn't necessarily need to be the figurines out of the actual demo. You can use those kind of techniques, can't you, Mark, to create whatever mm, you like? Absolutely. No, I like the idea of, of, of using dolls' houses, dolls and, and animals and all sorts of things, figurines. So do I. <laughs> so do I, Mark. Oh, my word, the studio's literally falling apart. Now, 